Look how frosty that is. It is cold. This big grey dog come bounding down the steps and jumped up on me. Honestly, I thought he was just some underfed werewolf. Good afternoon. Well, no, it's morning actually, it's half 11. I'm at a place called Chinley. Uh, I'm at the railway station. Just going to go out for a day hike and I'm planning to get to Edo. It's called the old High Peak Way, uh, kind of a disused route. But my, it, the, the mists up there are pretty bad. It, it's, it's a cold day, it's about oh, one degree at the minute. It's bloody freezing, so got me big pack, loads of decent stuff. Got me stoved, cook up a bit of warm soup and a sandwich and uh, enjoy the day hopefully but um, it's very cloudy up there and misty so let's see how we, we, we get on. So anyway, Happy New Year everybody, it's January, uh, it feels like the uh, the 97th of January at the minute, it takes so long doesn't it really, so we're entering into a new year so no fault. I'll stop babbling on and uh, I'll get up there. I forgot my camera, so everything's going to be on my phone, all handheld. So no drone shots, no walking past the camera and going up hills and from a distance. And it's just your raw footage on this one today. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Just left the railway station, and then uh, see behind me there is the track. Chinley's back there. So. I'm going to proceed up the hill uh, onto a place called Kraken Edge and then follow it all the way up and cross. So basically this walk, the next train in the afternoon is like 16.47. Uh, time's midday now, so plenty of time to get over there. It's about 9 to 10 mile walk, so nothing major. Right, I'll see you up on the top. So yeah, this is completely raw footage. Um, I've not even got a hand held for me camera. I left it all in the hallway. <laughs> so if it's a bit bouncy, I do apologize. But we're back to basics on the iPhone, just holding it in my hand. But uh, yeah, bear with me on that one. So on my map, it says go left, but it says up to the top, I just checked. People day. So we're going up that way. Yeah, not much of a view, is there? In fact, I can just see my van down there. So I've just made it up to the, pretty much the top, or near the top of this cracking edge. Ah, uh, just stopped for a little bit of water. And uh, just uh, finding my way mark. And that's Cracking Edge there in the Cracking Edge farm in the gloom. I was going to go up there and round, but I'm just trying to follow this original old Waymark route of this old high peak trail. And you can see uh, it's a bit gloomy up there, isn't it? Those are these like kind of uh, little cairns on the top of this Cracking Edge. I don't know how to feel about it. Nobody about. Walking into the mists. No whether that was an old house or something, wouldn't like it. The bench here near the top. And it says in loving memory of Shirley Fiddler, who loved walking in these wild places. Must admit, I quite fancy having a, a bench. Uh, for me, <laughs> I just realised where I am. Take an hour of uh, coming up to this point. Seems like ages to go yet to get to Edel and the station. Better crack on. There you go, heading in the right direction. So Hayfield way, that way. Right, I'm not going to film much. I think there's like an old abandoned house up here. So I'm going to 
show you that quickly and you see there's just nothing much to film really is there just walking past a house in the middle of nowhere and it's called white rakes there is no roads to it it's all fenced off and everything i could probably if I really wanted to jump over that gate and go and have a closer look but it's like there's bars at the window maybe another time yep we're on the right path kinder valley to edale and woodland woodlands I'm just uh, taking a bit of a shortcut now, crossing over a stream. So cutting up through this way, I'm a little bit off piste. So probably won't be able to make this out at all. Uh, probably shave enough about. I'm kind of going up and right the way around on the on the normal route. So this kind of cuts up and across and picks up a valley. Probably shaving off about a good mile and a half. Well. That was a bit of hard work coming down there. Not that just summit, but further up. It's a bit hard on the knees. A lovely, uh, lovely river. River. I think he said Selt. Selt. Gorgeous. I see a kingfisher there, I think. Flew up in the tree. Might be wrong. So I'm uh, kind of near the top. It's like kind of Kinderlow is. I'm looking in front of me. And uh, sort of Hayfield way, Kinder Scout, not far. Uh, <coughs> it's getting a bit icy up here, cold. So I'm going to stop off, get a bit of shelter behind this wall, and uh, cook up a bit of soup and have a sandwich, I think. Right, right. Stopped off. I'm just going to have a bit of lunch. Oh, oh the gas is going. Boiling up some water. Ainsley hot and sour soup. And I've got in the wrapper uh, pork apple sauce and French mustard butter. A couple of little meat, bits and pieces. Get the old uh, salt level. Sugar Reese's mini egg peanut butter in there. I've got a coffee somewhere, but I might save that till later if I'm getting a bit closer. But this will boil up pretty quick. Get the soup in, have a sandwich. Cheers. Hmm. If you probably watch my channels, so I've got to keep remember to um, keep looking at the little other camera on this iPhone on the reverse position, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, you look. If you go that way, you look cross-eyed. See, so, looking at myself, cross-eyed. There you go. Back to normal. So, if you probably watch my channel, you probably know I, I do stick to some of the old favourites. Ainsley Harriet soup, dead light to carry. Can't beat it. Can mix it with other ingredients. And uh, what could be better? Minus one at the minute. Don't feel it though. Uh, but I'm out the wind chill. Um, I think I've got about another four miles to get to Edale and it's about three o'clock so hmm I'll do it not a problem and then uh, catch a train back to Chinley so everything should be okay but and the trains go uh, I think the first one's 1647 so I don't think I'm going to get that 1747 so yeah and it's an eight minute uh, train drive train ride four pound fifty so that's a cost of it but uh yeah so it is cold up here. My hand's cold holding this phone at the minute. Put my gloves on. Uh, right. So I'm going to have this, have my sandwich, and I'll speak to you further up. Right, it's 20 to 4. And uh, I crack on a bit. Because it goes dark at 5. And schoolboy error. I realise I've got a head touch. I've got the light of this phone, but. I don't think it's that far now to get so get over Jacob's ladder or get down Jacob's ladder and then straight down, so it should be fine. Oh, just out of the wind, but look how stunning that is, that light. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> it is 
cold. Well, not too bad because obviously my core temperature was raised with walking up and down. But uh, just look at that. You're missing the bit where you think to yourself, wow, just a small speck in the whole of it. Right, I'm feeling a little bit time conscious now. So again, onwards. Look how frosty that is. Yeah, so in the low then right over there, you can't see is a Kinder Scout. Fancy uh, camping up there tonight, put it up. I'm gonna start dropping down down Jacob's ladder. Never been never been this way before. It's fading now. I'm on my own stretch, so uh, I enjoyed this, but a uh, little bit I thought, oh, say it's starting to go fairly quick now. I can get back before dark, should be okay. But no head torch, but I think I'll be fine. A couple of miles, I think, now, and that's it, cracked it. But yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, next bit is when. We need it, I think, with light and uh, at the train station. Unless there's anything else more interesting on the way. I don't know whether you can see me properly, but <clears throat> I got the front facing camera on. I'm dropping now. Lovely lady just at this farm I walked through before. And I was chatting to her, asking her way to make sure I'm on the right path. She said, just bear left and go up and lovely through, lovely through, um, instead of getting onto the road. It's all right if you're not if you've got a head torch. So I think I'll stick to the roadway, go through Barber Boom and keep going. And then, as I was talking to her, this big grey dog come bounding down the steps and jumped up on me. Honestly, I thought he was just some underfed werewolf. Shit me right up. <laughs> right, getting dark to film now. The last bit, as I promised, will be at the station. Well, I made it to Weedale. I'm just having a well-deserved pint of shandy. I'm driving, so just bitter shandy in there. Yeah, so well-deserved, I think. Cheers, folks. Got to wait for the train another half an hour, so I just missed the other one, so never mind. It'll be fine. So I'm at the train station, about 10 minutes to wait for this train to get back to Chinley, pick the van up. So, <coughs> frog in the throat. Um, I'm going to sign off now. I hope you enjoyed it. Not a massive vid, not stay the night out, but it's bloody freezing. Uh, even if you stayed in the van, I'd have to have the heater on and stay on site. It's just freezing today. Uh, so I wish you farewell and I shall catch you on the next one. Don't forget, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon over here somewhere in it. And uh, all the best to you. Catch you later.